Hi, I'm Lee Roberts, Project Director of Sustainability at SICA. Today I'm chatting to Michael Cruz. He's the author of the book One Report and a partner of Grant Thornton in the States. He's visiting South Africa for a few days to talk about integrated reporting. Michael, welcome to SA. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Integrated reporting has been described as an idea whose time has come. Why? I think part of the reason why it's uh, described in that fashion is the way it, it arose almost spontaneously and independently. And what I mean by that is the initial integrated reporters were spread across Denmark, Germany, the Netherlands, Brazil, uh, even the United States. And they were different, uh, not only different countries, but they were very different industries. And it was almost as if, uh, similar to what happens in uh, the process of scientific discovery, people were coming to the same answer to a question without talking about it. Mm -hmm. They weren't aware of what each other was doing. And therefore, I think the, the notion that it is an idea whose time has come. And it really is an evolution of corporate reporting. It is very much an evolution of, uh, of corporate reporting. I, I think uh, more than anything else, we'll look back at integrated reporting as something that set the stage for changing the way we view the role of the corporation in society. As you know, South Africa has recently issued a discussion paper for a framework on integrated reporting. What do you think of it? I think it's a great discussion document. I think the SICA uh, kept it at a proper level to encourage uh, discussion. The, the paper, I think, tries and accomplishes a, a goal of not being too prescriptive. Mm. That way, I think it encourages comment from the various constituencies who should be interested in the document, from the preparers to the investors to regulators to stock exchanges to uh, including the uh, NGOs and others in the stakeholder community. In what ways do you think it could be improved? Well, uh, I think among other things that uh, could be added uh, would be a suggestion that companies begin to address their view on the role of the corporation in society. I think that is going to provide a very interesting benchmark to follow over a period of time about the company, how it views itself, and whether it's truly uh, embracing integrated thinking and integrated strategic decision making. Just elaborate on what you mean by integrated thinking. Well, I'm, uh, as the co-author of one report, uh, my, my co-author uh, Bob Eccles and I were very excited that the term integrated reporting has taken off. Uh, mm -hmm. I can have this discussion around, literally around the world and people understand what we mean by integrated reporting. But that particular term tends to make people think too much in terms of the end result. People tend too much to focus on the fact that what we're doing is integrating a sustainability report and a financial report. And we lose track of just how important it is to think in terms of integrating processes within a company, breaking down silos of, uh, that impede communication, whether it's between operations and finance or finance and marketing or the sustainability group and other uh, senior executives. So it really is the new way of thinking, the new way of business thinking. Uh, I think it is. I think it should be uh, the standard way of business thinking. The companies listed on the JSC, Michael, will be among the first in the world to produce integrated reports en masse. Will they be looked at by the rest of the world? I think South Africa is in a position that they are going to have a strong influence on the integrated report globally. As a practical matter, uh, you have uh, Mervyn King, mm. who is the co-chairman of the Integrated Reporting Committee, the Global uh, Committee, uh, that uh, was formed out of a, an agreement between the Global Reporting Initiative and the uh, Prince's uh, Accounting for Sustainability Initiative. Yeah. At the moment, he's um, the deputy chairman of that. Yes. Right. So what, what that will do is Mervyn is going to influence that debate 
and in turn the people who are on the steering committee and the working group are going to be looking towards South Africa as they develop what they hope will become a globally accepted framework and, uh, and other guidelines for integrated reporting. Plus South Africa by virtue of Mervyn's position and by Graham Terry's position as a member of the working group uh, will have strong influence on I think what will be the evolution of uh, integrated reporting thinking within the international committee. Tell us about the state of integrated reporting in the U.S. Do any companies do it? Uh, there are four companies who do it. I wish there were more, but there are four companies. And from my perspective, uh, they're, they're not what I would think of as leading edge companies, which in a way I find more encouraging. Uh, PepsiCo, Southwest Airlines, American Electric Power, and United Technologies Corporation. All of them uh, have either been doing integrated reporting for two years at most or, or recently uh, published reports. What is it going to take for those American companies to embrace integrated reporting given that not too many have embraced sustainability reporting? Well, I think far more have embraced sustainability reporting uh, because I, I would say most of the largest listed companies in the States do prepare a sustainability report. What I think is going to happen with integrated reporting, and, and from my perspective as, as, as an American, it, this is interesting, I think we will be pulled by the global community towards integrated reporting. I think that will be a first. <laughs> well, I, in terms of reporting, in some ways, yes. I, and I think what will happen is that U.S. companies will see that integrated reporting, uh, particularly for the first movers, provides a bit of competitive advantage. It, it's going to change the way companies are perceived. It's going to be something that is, is seen as being part of an overall communication strategy. But more important, it's going to be seen as something that drives corporate reputation and the value of the corporate brand. So the real benefits of integrated reporting will be the main driver? Yes, I, I believe that will be the case. Currently, only 3% of the top 250 companies in the world issue integrated reports. When do you think integrated reporting will become mainstream? I think a lot of will depend upon the acceptance of the International Integrated Reporting Committee's framework. I think the, the, the goal right now of the International Committee is to get what I call an endorsement from the G20 finance ministers. Uh, endorsement is probably the incorrect word, but the goal for the IIRC is that at the November meeting of the G20 ministers in Paris, that the IIRC would be asked to continue their work and report back. I think that will set the stage for getting governments more involved, more engaged uh, in the integrated reporting process. I wonder if the key, Mac, isn't to get the stock exchanges involved. Once they mandate integrated reporting, then it seems to become a tsunami of its own. Oh, I am envious of uh, the lead role that the JSE has taken. Uh, I, I think others have recognized that as well. Uh, right now, the uh, uh, United Nations Principles uh, for Responsible Investment Organization uh, has a, a, a new initiative where they have contacted, I believe, about 30 exchanges globally and asked them to engage in a discussion uh, similar, uh, with the end result similar to what the JSE has done to consider making integrated reporting part of the listing requirements. Yeah, I think that would be the main driver for change. Let's go on to, to chat about Nova Nordisk. It's a Danish-based diabetes company. And it really is regarded around the world as the leader in integrated reporting. Why is their report so good? Well, I think one reason is uh, they've simply been doing it longer continuously than anyone else. They issued their first report in 2004. Uh, but an interesting perspective about Novo Nordisk is they aren't satisfied with where they are. Uh, when, when I speak to different groups, uh, I tend to say, in, in response to questions about, well, who's a good integrated reporting company? Well, go download the Novo Nordisk report. As part of another project that Bob Eccles and I are working on, I had the uh, uh, chance to meet with uh, some investors in Novo Nordisk, as well as uh, six or seven of their uh, senior executives within the last month. And without exception, in talking to the Novo Nordisk people, they aren't happy with where they are at. Uh, and and what it, the point I think that is important to take away from their observation about themselves 
goes back to the idea we should not focus on integrated reporting as the report being the end, end result. The idea is how does the company integrate environmental, social, and governance factors into the way they run their business, into the, the very core of their decision making. And that's very easy to, to say in, in the course of this conversation, but it's a very long term.